So today's video is going to be on this makeup look right here. I'm so excited to share it with you because these are like my favorite looks to do. Like a really dark lip and smoky eyes. Just like, uh, you know. Just dramatic and sexy and smoky and it's just all so pretty. So I am so excited to bring you this tutorial. And this is actually a really good long lasting makeup look. I use a lot of products that will help keep you matte if you're oily. If you want this to last all night, if you're going out looking sexy, even in the day girl if you're going to brunch, you're going to look good all day with this makeup look with the products I'm showing you guys. And Clinique actually reached out to me to try their Stay Matte Foundation, which I have tried before and I really like it. So I'm going to be featuring this foundation in the video. I really really like it. It looks like skin, but it still keeps you really nice and matte. So if you're oily and you get sweaty, and if you feel like your makeup just melts off your face, this will help you. And then I did use it with the Stay Matte Powder. Using these two together will give you that bulletproof makeup look that you want that's going to last all day long. And I do have a really serious breakout, but you can't see it right now and I'm so happy. I love makeup. Makeup just covers everything and makes everything look so glam. Keep in mind, you can wear this in the summertime or the fall. I would rock this in the summertime. I really don't care. I don't have a preference on when I rock super dark makeup looks. You can definitely transition this over to that season as well. It's just good year round. You know what I mean? I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you want to see how I got this makeup look and all the products used, then let's just go ahead and get started. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and start off priming our face, and I'm going to use my Smashbox Primer Water and my Kane and Austin Mattifying Primer to go ahead and get my face ready for foundation. So today I'm going to be using the Clinique Stay Matte Foundation, and this is a great foundation if you have oily skin. Mine is a little bit too light because when I got color matched, it was right before I went to the lake, but... We're going to make it work. <laughs> so I'm just blending it in with a beauty blender. And this formula does absorb the shine. And it controls your oil and resists sweat, which makes it great to wear all day long. And to give you a little rundown on this foundation, there are 20 shades and it's oil free. And they also tested this foundation in really high heat and humidity to make sure that it stays put all day and keeps you matte. This is a medium to full coverage foundation. As you can see, it covered all of my redness and I really like that. And this foundation with the matching powder is a really great combo because it does hold up all day long in the heat and it is hot in Georgia. So if it can stay nice and matte throughout this southern heat, that's how you know it's good. <laughs> and then I'm going to take this Tarte Concealer and put it underneath my eyes and down the center of my face to highlight these areas and really make them and pop. Then I'm going to go in with this airspun powder and I'm going to put this underneath my eyes and down the center of my face, the same places where we put concealer, just to bake everything while we do our eyes. Now I'm going to take this NARS primer and I highly recommend it if you want your eyeshadows to stay all day. And then we're using the Anastasia Modern Renaissance palette, which is gorgeous. I just got this in the mail, you guys, and I'm so obsessed with it already, like I can't. So the first shade I'm going to take is Tempura and I'm going to put this all over my lid just to even out and create a nice creamy base for the rest of the shadows that we're going to put on. Then I'm going in with Raw Sienna and I'm just going to put this into my crease with a blending brush. I am building this color up just a little bit so it's a little bit more intense. But I am going to fluff it up towards the brow bone just a little bit as well so it fades nicely towards the brow. Next up I'm taking the color Regu Realgar. <laughs> I almost said regular. Taking the color Real Gar, whatever that means, and I'm going to be putting this right below that crease shade that we had. I'm still going into the crease just a little bit below the brown, and I'm also putting this in the outer V as well. I'm going to do this on both sides, and then I'm going to blend out the edges with Raw Sienna once again, which is the first color that we put on.
Then we're going to be taking one of my favorite shades in the palette, which is Love Letter, and I'm going to put this all over my lid. I'm going to leave that inner corner of my eye nice and bare so we could put a different color there. And I don't know why I use a small brush for this, but I realized I was, you know, acting up, so I decided to get a bigger brush, and it worked a lot better. This color did kind of get a little patchy on me. I don't know why. I did have to build it up, but once you build it up, it is a really pretty color. Then I'm going back in with that Real Gar shade, and I'm going to blend out the edges of this as well. Just blend along the way, and you'll be good to go. Good to go. I say good to go all the time. I can't help it. I'm sorry. Then I'm going to take the shade Primavera. <laughs> I think that's how you say it. And I'm going to put this in the inner corner of my eyes to make this look pop. You could drag all these darker colors all the way to the inner corner if you want it extra smoky. But I did want a pop of highlight, so this is what I decided to do. I think this color is even better when you spray your brush with Fix Plus. It makes it much more vibrant and intense. So that's what I decided to do, and I really ended up loving it. And then you just want to kind of fade it into the color Love Letter, and then take a blending brush and smooth out the edges just so you have a a nice faded effect. And then after that I'm going to go ahead and dust away the baking and then we're going to go ahead and put on the Clinique Stay Matte Powder which is great like I said with this foundation. It really is a bulletproof combo, keeps you nice and matte. So I'm going to take that powder and put it all over the rest of my face just so everything is nice and locked down and when we put product on top it's not going to look patchy or anything like that. So I really like this powder because it's nice and sheer so it's not going to look cakey on top of your foundation. Then we're going to pop on some liquid liner. I did do a winged eyeliner and then I also used my Velour Lashes in Fluff and Wispy which are amazing. Moving on to the face, I'm again going to take the NYC Bronzing Powder in Sunny and I'm going to bronze my face with this. I actually used this in a dupes video and I've been really enjoying it so I decided to go ahead and bronze my face with it again today. Then to contour, we're going to use the Tarte Tardis Contour Palette, and I'm going to use the shade 3 and 4, and I'm going to put this right on my contour line. I couldn't find my contour brush, so this Target brush had to do, and I actually really liked it. So I went ahead and carved out my cheekbones and then blended it out as usual. And don't mind my forehead, it's peeling. <laughs> then I'm taking the blush in the palette and I'm just going to pop this on my cheeks. I like this color because it has a hint of rosy pink, but it's not too intense and it doesn't overpower this look. So I really like it and I am going to go ahead and blend that out as well. And then I'm also going to apply highlighter and then we're going to move on to brows. For brows, I'm going to use the Benefit Cabral in number three. My brows were giving me so much saltiness today, like I couldn't even deal with it. So I didn't film too much of it just because they were driving me insane. But I do love the Benefit Cabral product, and I always use this Tarte eyebrow brush. It's one of my favorites. I've just been using it for so long now, I can't get away from it. And then I am going to set it in place with this Anastasia Brow Gel in Brunette as well, which is really the icing on top of the cake when it comes to brows. I like it a lot. Then I'm going to use the shade Vermeer, which is kind of like a lighter pinky tone shimmery shade. And I'm just going to put this underneath my brows to highlight. And then I'm also going to go ahead and put on the NYX Wonder Pencil on my waterline, which is a really nice nude eyeliner. I like this a lot. It's not too intense like a white eyeliner would be, but this does make your eyes look a little bit bigger and it looks a little bit more natural. And I'm saying natural very, very lightly here. <laughs> Then I'm going to take the shade Love Letter with this flat definer brush and I'm going to press this right up against that lower lash line. I am smoking this out but I'm not dragging it down as far as I normally do. I kind of want to keep it right up there with the lower lash line but still blend it out so it doesn't have a harsh line. And I'm also going to drag it out right beneath the tear duct area. You'll see right here this is like a better angle. You can see I'm kind of leaving the tear duct angle a little bit more highlighted and I'm just dragging the line out right underneath it. This also makes your eyes look a little bit bigger as well and I love the way that it turned out. So then I'm going to take that Vermeer color again and just highlight that inner corner to really make it pop. 
And then we're going to go over one more time with Love Letter on that lower lash line and really intensify it and make sure it pops underneath that lower lash line. Everything is freaking popping <laughs> in this makeup tutorial. I'm going to go ahead and apply mascara on my lower lashes and then we're going to line our lips with this Palladio Cabrera. I forget what it's called. I'll leave it down below. And then I'm going to use two Smashbox Always On Liquid Lipsticks. The first one I'm using is True Grit. True Grit is more of a really nice deep dark brown. Don't get me wrong, I absolutely love it on its own. But I did want to top it with more of a purple tone, which the one I'm using today is Girl Gang. And I feel like it kind of just goes with the look a little bit more and I love the purple tones in this look. So I just wanted to top this on over that and I love the way it turned out. It looks so pretty. And I just love these liquid lipsticks as well. They feel so comfortable on the lips and they dry really quickly. So I highly recommend them. I've mentioned them a few times before and I just can't stay away from these liquid lipsticks. And then if you need to, just clean up your lips and then you are officially done with this makeup look. So I hope you guys enjoyed it. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to give it a thumbs up if you loved this look and leave a comment down below letting me know what your favorite product is at the moment. And I will talk to you guys in my next video.